Hi, fourth graders. I'm excited to finally start our first video lesson for writing. We're going to get started with our new unit today. Our new unit is about historical fiction. So we know that historical fiction was something that takes place in the past. There are real events, maybe real people, but the overall story itself is fiction. So an example of this would be my brother Sam is dead. This story took place during the Revolutionary War, which was a real war. There were some things that the author said in the epilogue were true, but the main characters themselves and the events that took place were fiction. Let's move on to what you're going to need today and every day for writing. The first thing you need your laptop with your sound. If you can hear me and you're watching this, then you have already taken care of that. You need paper or your writing notebook. You will need a pencil. And lastly, you will need Google Classroom. Make sure you are logged in. I'm going to take you to Google Classroom to show you where you can find access to all of our writing materials. This is my page. I am going to be teaching writing to all of you, but you're going to go to your class's page. So this is just an example. Once you go to your class's page, you, will, you will click up on classwork. And then you will see this assignment. It says writing historical fiction. Once I click on this, I can see all of the things that I'm going to need for today. I will post this um, PowerPoint that I'm showing you so you can go back and refer to it later. I'm also going to post our um, article or the reading for this assignment. And I'm going to post the document where you are going to be typing. All right, I'll get back to more about this in just a moment. Okay, so what are we going to be writing about? We're going to be writing about the Boston Tea Party. So this took place on December 16th, 1773. So we know a little bit about the Boston Tea Party. We know that tea was important to the colonists. They drank a lot of tea and they got most of their tea from Britain. Britain decided they were going to raise taxes on the tea, which would make it more expensive for the colonists. The colonists did not like this idea because they were being taxed without representation. So they started to protest. They were making their own tea or they were getting it from other places other than Britain um, to make a statement. So the Boston Tea Party itself we know is when people stormed the ships and they took all of the tea that was coming from Britain and they threw it overboard into the water. So that's just a little review of what the Boston Tea Party was. This is the prompt we are going to be writing about. In the, pot, in the passage, Boston Tea Party eyewitness account Joshua Wyeth shares his experience during the Boston Tea Party. Write a story about what happens to Joshua Wyeth after the events of the Boston Tea Party. Be sure to use what you learned about the characters and setting in Boston Tea Party eyewitness account in your response. Okay, this is a little bit of a long prompt. We will get into more detail of this later. But our main point is that we have to write a story about Joshua Wyeth after the Boston Tea Party. And we also need to use what we learned about characters and setting um, from the passage. All right, so what is today's focus? What are we doing? Today we are focusing on our research. Think back to when we wrote research essays. We would read an article and we would take notes. So we know good authors read and take notes on important ideas. We also know that we have to determine categories that are important. 
by asking, what big questions do I have? So remember, we need to be able to understand the time period that we're writing about in order to make our stories accurate and realistic. We're writing about the Boston Tea Party time period. So we need to make sure everything that we say sounds accurate and realistic to that time period. So be thinking about some big questions that you might have for this lesson. What text are we going to use? We are going to use Boston Tea Party eyewitness account. Oops. Okay, what big questions do we have? Remember, the prompt says use what you learned about the characters and the setting. So we need to be able to talk about those things in order to make sure we're correctly answering the prompt. We're going to have four big questions. Two of them we're going to create together, and then two of them you're going to create by yourself. So the first big question that I'm wondering is about the characters. What emotions were people who participated feeling? That's my first question that I'm going to do research on. The next question I'm thinking about has more to do with the setting. What happened during the Boston Tea Party? Go ahead and pause this video and think about or jot down some big questions that you want to take notes on. All right, so it is time to start reading and take our notes. You have two different options of how you can do this. The first option is you can type your notes directly onto your Google document in Google Classroom. Option number two, you could write your notes on paper and then go back and type it in afterwards. It is up to you which one you want to do. If you're going to type your notes on paper, go ahead and pause this video and make sure that your paper is set up just like this. These are the first two questions we're going to be focusing on. All right, let's go on over to Google, to Google Classroom. We need to open our document. So our document um, is, oh, right here. It says Joshua Wyeth. This is where we're going to be typing. We also need to open our reading. Our reading is Boston Tea Party Eyewitness Account. So let's open that. Okay, so as you can see, here is our reading. Our document is also open. This has our prompt on it again. Pages two and three is where we're going to be doing our research. So I'm gonna scroll on down to the second page. Your document should already have this set up for you. What emotions were people who participated feeling? And what happened during the Boston Tea Party? These are the two questions that we came up with together, and we're going to be researching these first. Then on page three, you have two more spaces to create your own big questions and do your own research. All right, so we're gonna get started with what emotions were people who participated feeling. I'm going to pull up my um, reading. We'll do a couple together, and then it's all up to you. Okay, Boston Tea Party eyewitness account, Joshua Wyeth. Joshua Wyeth was only 16 years old when he was a participant in the Boston Tea Party. 
he reported the details of his adventurous night to a local pastor. His first-hand account was found and published in a book edited by Francis S. Drake. The full title of the book is Tea Leaves, being a collection of letters and documents relating to the shipment of tea to the American colonies in the year 1773 by the East India Tea Company. Wow, that's a long title. Okay, paragraph one. Our numbers were between 28 and 30. I had but a few hours warning of what was intended to be done. We first talked of setting fire to the ships, but feared the fire would spread to the town. When we proposed sinking them, but dropping that idea um, through fear that we should alarm the town before we could finish. All right, I'm going to stop here because I already found a piece of research that I could include in my document. The question that we're looking at first is what emotions were people who participated feeling? Paragraph one said that they were feeling fearful. They were feeling fearful because they did not to get caught, sorry, or have the fire spread to the town. Let me fix my spelling. Okay, so they were fearful. They didn't want to set fire to the ships because they were scared that that fire might spread to the town. They also did not want to alarm anyone um, that they were up to something, right? They didn't want to be caught. I also noticed in um, paragraph one that it says our numbers were between 28 and 30. So that's something I could include in my box that says what happened during the Boston Tea Party. There were about 28 to 30 people. Okay, so this is all the research that we're going to do together. Um, make sure that you come up with two other big questions in these boxes. In each box, you need to have at least three bullet points. So we came up with one together. This would be two, and this would be three, at least. If you want to have more, that's okay too. You don't have to press turn in or anything like that. As soon as you are um, done typing it, your teacher will be able to see it. All right, almost done. Um, make sure if you are writing on paper that you get it all typed into the computer so that we can read everything that you included. All right, great job for getting this far. Thanks for joining me for our first day of writing and I cannot wait to keep doing writing with you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.